Yeah, okay, got it. Got it, hair's no good? Yeah, okay, sure, hat's back on. Ciao a tutti, welcome everybody. At the women's event at the Gran Premio d'Italia, Anna Sherbakova shows us why she is world champion. She said, which you thought? And Leona Hendrick of Belgium is a surprise medal finisher here. Mm, she was waffly good. <laughs> So for the women's podium, we have in first place reigning world champion from Russia, Anna Sherbakova. In second place, we have newcomer from Russia, Maya Kromik. And in third, the winner of the bronze from Belgium, Lowena Hendricks. Dylan, I just want to comment that you look absolutely bellissimo. I would ah, you grazie, you Asher, screen. grazie. I, I mean, like, I was going for the, the uh, Amalfi Coast kind of Italian, you know? I was going for... Okay, right, Italian? <laughs> <laughs> Bello. That's it. This extended my Italian. You look amazing. You look great. The producer said I needed to lose the accessories, but, you know, wow. things happen. We're being creatively stifled, and I'm offended. <sighs> but let's get into it. We're professionals. We can deal with it. Yep. Uh, let's Show talk about go. the winner here, Anna Sherbakova. Listen, I, I'm not going to say I told you so, but I told you so. I said she would win. You're right. You're right. I should always listen to you. I'm sorry. No, don't always. Don't <laughs> always listen to my predictions. I just lucked out. Good, good. I, I wasn't planning on it. Yeah. <laughs> she looked good. She looked good. She she was, you know, her fire was back in that free program. I really, I really felt, especially halfway through, her face changed. She kind of started playing with different emotions. She started playing with different feelings. And her attack was back. Her speed was better. She looked like she had even more maturity. Yeah, looking like the reigning world champion. Yeah, like you said, uh, coming into this event, she was actually beaten by her closest rival mm -hmm. and training mate at this competition, Maya Kromik. And heading into the free program, she was sitting in third after a big mistake on her combo jump, uh, doubling her planned triple loop into a double toe. Uh, but even with that, I, I completely agree. She had a completely different fire uh, to her her skating skills are better her back cross cuts which used to really annoy me are much better so it actually helps with her transitions and everything she's really grown into her connection with her uh, music her audience and her skating skills like uh, in general um, in the free she opens up with this cracker of a quad flip and then the rest of the program is just money and she actually earned her free skate personal best here with 165 but to put that in context she is still behind uh camilla Valieva, who we just saw at skate canada by 15 points with her world record 180 and change in that free program um unbelievable yeah yeah unbelievable <laughs> but you know what i will say that i really liked is i mean essentially the grand prix final is going to look like a training day at a terry school but you know, if everything kind of keeps going the way it's looking. But to see uh, Anna come out knowing that these even younger girls are kind of coming up and putting pressure to come out there and, and step up after a bit of a rough start at her, at her senior B event, to be able to step up and own that position as the world champion to, you know, deliver under that kind of pressure in the Olympic season, I think says a lot about what we can expect from her this season. Yeah, okay, got it. Got it, hair's no good? Yeah, okay, sure, hat's back on. Speaking of Tudbarice tutelage, Maya Kromik, another Russian phenom from that camp, comes here at her senior Grand Prix debut. Again, as we said, being, uh, beating Sherbakova at the Budapest Trophy. Second place here, um, scoring a 153, the fourth highest free skate and the fifth highest combined score we've seen on this Grand Prix circuit so far. I'm kind of, I get confused with all of these Russian quad women now. I'm glad you said that. It's a walking confusion. <laughs> They're amazing, but. I'm... Yeah, no, no, no. It's not, it's not that it's not impressive. Yeah. It's confusing. Yeah. I don't. You know, it used to be a lot easier when there was a couple Russian phenoms. Like, oh, the young, the young phenoms. Now it's like, well, which one? And I'm like, well, which generation? You know, um, I, I will say her jumps are amazing. You know, she's 15. She's got a lot of great qualities. I, the free skate, the Roxanne, I didn't really dig that choice. 
uh, most definitely that's on our not to skate to list. And people are really not listening and to us. And she chose one of the worst rock hands. Yeah, yeah. I thought I'm, it was on like an elevator at like a Marriott. <laughs> 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 what Marriott's do you go to? That sounds intense for an elevator. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I, fe I feel like she, she understands the concept of getting into the program and there are definitely moments where she's uh, connecting and, and putting herself in it, but it's in and out. Mm -hmm. And that'll come with time, it, but it kind of feels a bit strobe-like to me with uh, her, her commitment to the choreography. It's kind of choreography on, jumps off, and then it switches. Mm -hmm. Um, so it would be interesting to see how she starts to weave those things together. Yeah, I, I thought her PCSs were a bit overvalued, TBH, IDK. Um, <laughs> but I think one of the biggest stories here is, of course, Leona Hendricks of Belgium winning mm -hmm. the fir her first Grand Prix medal, as well as the first Belgian woman to win a Grand Prix medal on her 22nd birthday happy birthday to her and what a great gift to give to yourself well to be you know just to correct you asher she won the short program on her birthday she won the medal afterwards so you know the gifts just kept coming it's birthday weekends bro. it was birthday no weekend uh <laughs> she was amazing she was amazing uh we saw our worlds last year really step up and kind of emerge and um <clears throat> I, I thought she laid down two really great programs. She's got the whole package. She doesn't have the firepower of the triple axle or the quads, but everything she does is really solid, you know, and you could see how happy she was in the kiss and cry. Just so many tears of joy. It's such a big moment for her. Her first ISU medal uh, and a Grand Prix medal at that. So really, really incredible week for her. And awesome that she gets to share that moment with her brother, Yorick Hendricks, who is also a very, uh, talented male figure skater for Belgium as well mm -hmm. as now a coach. Well, that's the ladies event from Gran Premio de Italia. I love saying that. Um, let us know what you think. Uh, do you think that Maya is coming for Sherbakova? How do you think about the women's event so far? There's only three Grand Prix left. Let us know what you think. Make sure you subscribe and keep an eye out for the rest of our coverage of the Grand Premio event.